In this video, we're going to take a look at a data structure called try. So try is a data type of a binary tree. So unlike binary tree, where each node can maximum have two nodes, a binary tree can have multiple children, right? So we use try to store strings, and each try node represents a string. So and each node in the try, we can have multiple children, right? We can have multiple children nodes. So the root node is always empty. And that's why you can see here with this is our try. And the root node is here and is empty. It basically stores the children nodes. And we use try to basically have a various applications such as all or complete, right? Where user uh, input is character and they have a uh, bunch of options for user to auto complete the string that they're typing. And or we can check the spelling, right? To see if this character is correct uh, based on the dictionary, the current dictionary that we have. And then in this case, we can see here that we have a try and we can be able to use this try data structure to do that. To store the string, you can see we have a string, which is BAD, and each node is a, uh, stores a character. And if we were to find BAD, in this case, what we can do is we can start at the root node and we check to see if root has a children of B. In this case, we do. Then we're going to continue to see if B has a children of A because we have a string that we want to search particularly, right? We want to search for BAD. So in this case, B has a children a child node of A. So then we check to see if A has a children of B. And in this case, A has a children of D. So we know that BAD exists. So we can return the string to have that as an option for user to auto complete it, right? So that would be a perfect data structure to use. So there are many ways we can define try. So one way is we can use an array because let's say we're only dealing with like lowercase letters or uppercase letters we can define the size of this, the array, right? So let's say we're dealing with uppercase letters, we can have in set to 26. So that basically every time when we insert a character, we can have the current characters minus the lowercase a, right? Or if we're dealing with lowercase a, then we can be able to insert the try, try node onto the current nodes, the try nodes children, right? And notice that the root node is always empty. So we're basically dealing with the children nodes. We're not storing the current node's value onto the current node. We're basically storing its children nodes. So the node that we want to insert, let's say is B. Then in this case, we can just uh, basically find that position in the array. And we see if it exists. If it doesn't exist, we insert it. And, and then we're going to look for the next character, in this case, A. Then we check to see if it exists. If it doesn't exist, we insert it, right, for B's children, right? So we continue to do that, right? So in this case, that's one way. And the other way we can do is we can use a table. So to use a table, it's going to be the time complexity is going to be a lot slower compared to using an array. But this we can use table, right? Hash table or hash map to save us a lot of space because we don't if, if we have a situation where we don't know how many characters we're playing with or we don't know if we're only dealing with lowercase letters or uppercase letters or just all characters. Right, so then we can use a hash map to do that. And this hash map basically, uh, same thing, we can have a character and we have a try node for each and every single character, right? So if we have only, if the current, the root node only has three children, then we only need those three elements in the hash map, right? So we're not adding extra space compared to using an array. So there are basically um, two methods for try. Right, one is to insert the string, and the other one is to look for the string, right? And there could be more than more than there could be other methods, but th those are the the two main methods, right? So if we were to insert a string into the try, first we want to make sure we in uh, initialize the current root, right? So the root is empty; it has a empty uh, it has an array or um, or a table of children, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, iterate each and every single character that we want to insert. So let's say we want to insert BAD. Then what we're going to do is we're going to see if current character, right, if the current root has a child node of C. We want to see if this character ex is already a child node. If it's not, then we're just going to initialize it. And then what we're going to do, just like how we did in DFS, right, we're going to get current is equal to current dot child uh, children as C so that we can move on to the next character. And then we're gonna see if the next character exists in the current dot children, right? So we can continue this process. So 
at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to iterate each and every single characters that we have in S. S, again, is the strain that we want to insert also the try. So once we iterate each and every single characters in, in S, we know that we insert the strain onto, uh, into the, the try data structure. Then what we can do is basically current is, is, is the last character of the string, right? Or it represents the node that represents the, the string S. So another method um, that we going to talk about is search. So let's say we want to search a string. Let's say we want to search BAD. So same thing, we first um, initialize the current root and uh, we basically check to see, right? We're going to iterate each and every single characters in string S. And if current node, right, does not have a child node of C, that means that this string doesn't exist. So we can just return false or return fail. Right, and then to continue to traverse down the path, we can just get current is equal current dot children as c, because here all we're doing here is we try, try to traverse each and every single character to see if that string exists. So at the end, if we were to uh, be able to traverse the entire string, we can just return true. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a legal problem called implementing uh, try. So prefix tree, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to um, design this data structure and uh, it supports three methods, right? So in this case, we are trying to uh, complete the insert part where we can be able to take a string and it inserts it into the string, uh, into the try. And we also want to be able to support a method, uh, be able to search the string if it exists. And notice it says that if the string were is in the try, was inserted before and false otherwise. So a word basically means that if, let's say we have a, uh, a word, right? Let's say we want to insert apple. We want to make sure that we can be able to, after we insert it, we want to make sure we be able to search it and be able to see if this word exists. If we return true, if it, if it exists, return false if it doesn't, right? And we also have this starts with. So we, it takes the prefix and return true if the previously uh, inserted string word that has a prefix, prefix, right? Return false otherwise. So return false so we cannot find this prefix. And you can see we have a couple examples and I think it's very, very important to know that. Um, and basically, let's say we are, if first you can see we're basically initialized this try. We're trying to insert this apple, right? And, and we want to search the apple, we, in this case it, it ex exists, right? But the thing here, the catch is that if we want to insert, if we want to search for APP, in this case, it will return false, right? This is the this is the real answer is that we don't have this word. But the thing is that if we were to use the data structure that we just saw, right, it's not gonna work. Because what we need to do is we need to change something. We need to make sure that this, the, the, the string that we search in this case is actually a word, right? If it's not a word, like for example, if we have a tree like this, right? We know this is A, this is P, this is P, and this is L, for example, right? So we have A, P, P, A, uh, A, P, P, L, or E, or blah, 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 and so on, right? So in this case, um, if we were to search A, P, P, then in this case, we know this is, this is equal to the first character, this is equal to the second character, and this is equal to the second character. And it might just return true because we know that we just traverse all, this, all the characters that we have in the string. But the thing is that we want to make sure that when we insert the the uh, a, a, a word we want to make sure the last character is actually represents the word right we want we can, we're going to have a property that represents a word so that if this is the last character in the string we want to make sure this is a if this is this is actually a word if this is a word then when we search the string it will return true if this is not a word and this is the last character then in this case we're going to return false and i'm going to show you at the end and then in this case, we also going to have a situation where we have to start with, right? We want to make sure we have a, a string that start with APP. We want to insert it and we can be able to search it, right? So in this case, we're going to have that property is word, which check to see if it's a word. If it is, uh, if in this case, it doesn't really matter to, to see if it start with this string, but for search, we want to make sure that if it has, if the last character is a word, if it is, if it is a word, we're going to return true. If it's not, we're going to return false. So let's take a look at how we can implement this. So to do this, we're going to design a class called trinode. 
And this try node basically has two properties. So we're going to have a hash map, and the key is going to be the character, right? And we're also going to have a, uh, a value, which is going to be a try node. So we're going to call it children, which is equal to hash map. And we're also going to have a property called is word to check to see if the current try node is a word. By default, it's going to be false. So inside our solution class, right, try solution class, we're going to have a private property called root. And we're going to define that in the constructor. So we're going to have root initially is equal to new try node. So we're going to create an instance of this uh, try node. And so far, we have no children at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a node. So to insert a node, uh, we're basically going to have a current node. So we're going to have a try node current is equal to uh, the root. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert the, the string into a character array. And basically the idea is we're going to iterate each and every single character in the, in the word. And then we're also going to traverse that in our current uh, prefix tree, right? Or our current try. So we're going to say array is equal to word.2 character array. And basically, we're going to traverse each and every single character in the array. So current character inside the array. And for each character that we have in the array, we're basically checking to see if the current node. So if the current node dot children, right, dot contains key, if it contains this current character is equal to false. If it doesn't contain this character, then we want to make sure we uh, create an instance of it. We want to insert a, uh, a node, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say current node dot children dot put, right? So for current character, we're going to create a instance of the try node. And then what we're going to do is once we, once we create the instance, right, and it doesn't matter if it contains or doesn't contain after here, after this if condition, what we're going to do is we're going to set the current node is equal to current node dot children dot get current character, right? We're basically traversing its children, right? Its current characters nodes children. And at the end, what we're going to do is once we ins successfully insert each and every single character that we have in the word, onto the try, we're going to set the last character. So the current node, which is points to the last character, we're going to set it is word is equal to true. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to search, right? So for searching, it's the same thing. What we're going to do is we're going to have our try node, current node is equal to root. We're going to iterate each and every single character. And for each character that we iterate, we check to see if the uh, if the current node that children contains this current character, if it doesn't, then what we can do is we can just return false. And at the end, if we were to traverse each and every single characters that we have in the, in the word, then what we're going to do is we're going to return true if so. If this current character is a word, right? If it's not, we're just going to return false, right? So that's how we're going to search the string to see if there is a word in the try. And then for search for star wiz to see if it has a prefix, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. But in this case, we don't have to worry about if the current node is a word. So like we can, we don't have to worry about if, if the current is a word or not a word. As long as it contains it, as long as it contains this, uh, this prefix, then it's true, right? So now let's try to run our code. And you can see we have a boolean. That's why, okay. So we have to add a boolean here. And root is gonna be a type try node. Cannot find this symbol at 41. Okay, so this is gonna be a prefix, right? So because we're iterating all the characters that we have in the prefix. Okay, so let's try with 
So now let's try to submit. And you can see here we have our success. So the time complexity, again, is going to be big O of n, where n is the number of characters that we have uh, that we want to insert or that we want to search. 